All right, let's ask two final questions on this problem. Let's say while they are jumping up, they start from rest, they're standing on the ground, and we want to calculate the final speed as they just leave the ground, okay? Or as they just leave that force plate. So if they're just leaving the force plate, what is their speed? All right, for that, we can go back to our kinematic equations, okay? And we know that VF equals VI plus AT. VI is zero. She starts from rest on the ground. And so VF, in this case, is just the acceleration going up times the time that it took her to do that jump. And we have those numbers, right? The acceleration going up, we said, was 29.4 meters per second squared. And how long did it take her to do that jump? Well, we're going to say it's 0 0.25 seconds. And if you run those numbers, you should get 7.35 meters per second. Let's ask one final question. How high does the person jump? How high is the jump? All right, well, again, we can go back to the kinematic equations. And if we think of the person launching themselves, they're going to go up to a height h if they left the ground at v. And we know what that v is. We have it right here. Okay. Let's actually just call it v. We won't call it v sub f because we don't want to be confused when we write this equation over here. Vf squared equals vi squared plus 2 times the acceleration in the y direction yf minus yi. That's one of our kinematic equations. vf squared is 0. When you get to the top of that jump you're moving at a speed of 0. vi squared is just this v that we just solved for so we'll call that v. And then we have acceleration due to gravity, which is negative g, and we have the height h, right? y initial is 0, so y final is just h. And now look, you can solve this very quickly for h. We get h is equal to v squared over 2g, and now you know all those numbers. v is right there, g is of course 9.8, and if you double check those numbers yourself, you should get 2.76 meters. Now, is that a realistic number to be able to jump? No, 2.76 meters, that's like 10 feet, okay? So it's a little bit extreme, but the approach is sound. So hopefully that problem is clear. Uh, if you have any questions, come see me in my office. Cheers.